Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to another video and today we are taking a look at some of the best minor physical teams that you can make. So if we jump straight into it, Broly is obviously going to be your leader thanks to his leader skill. He gives that um, stat boost to, to HP, attack and defense. And yeah, he's a decent unit overall. He is obviously in the top he is obviously in the top five best cards in the game. The only real problem with modern physical teams is that it relies a lot on the amount of damage that you deal. So in events such as Omega Shenron, you're definitely going to be a you're definitely going to have a hard time beating it because of this. And that is definitely a drawback. The only real way that I can see modern physical teams competing with agility, int, tech, or FTR is if they get a new tank, which will most likely happen very soon. Well, I hope it happens very soon anyway. It's definitely a possibility with Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, but we will see very soon. But yeah, he is obviously your leader. Um, Ultimate Gohan, Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man, Kai Hen Goku, Gotenks, and you also have Full Power Freeze, which is definitely going to be one of your hardest hitters thanks to his passive skill, which gives him a 120% attack boost. You have Ultimate Gohan who gets an 80% attack boost and he also his attack also raises every time you super attack. You get you have um what's it called? you have Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man who gets a 70% attack boost. And you have Kaioken Goku whose attack raises every time you obviously super attack. And he also has some pretty good links that allows you to bridge like the key links between two certain characters. For example, um, Ultimate Gohan and um, Full Power Freezer don't share any links. So what this Kaioken Goku does is he gives shocking speed to Ultimate Gohan and over and flash to full power Freezer, which obviously makes it easier for these units to launch a super attack. So the great thing about Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man is that he allows you to bridge the gap between two units essentially. For example, if we take Physical Broly and um, Ultimate Gohan, they don't really they don't really share any top tier key links such as shocking speed um, or prepare for battle. So the good thing about Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man is that he shares both of these links. And this obviously allows you to make it easier to launch a super attack. For example, um, these two share the prepared for battle link and these two share the shocking speed link. Which, as I said before, is a great way to bridge the gap between two, between two units if you are lacking any key links. And it's the same with the um, Kaioken Goku. For example, um, Gotenks doesn't have the shocking speed link. So if you have these three on at the same time, it's possible to make it easier to launch a super attack. Now the problem with Full Power Freezer is that despite being able to deal a ton of damage is that he doesn't really share any key links apart from um, with Kaioken Goku which is obviously over in Flash and that's a very good key link but that, because that provides him with free key. And Gotenks for the most part does share key links with the majority of these units, um, Broly and Super Saiyan um, 2 Great Saiyan Man and honestly I'm 100% like certain that Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man is definitely a staple in a team like this just simply because as I said before he is capable of bridging gaps that most other monophysical units can't do but this is a very decent team like it's a pretty good team overall don't get me wrong it is missing a tank you have a sealer in Super Saiyan Gotenks you have a ton of damage potential you have two of the hardest hitting units in the game right here and you also have Ultimate Gohan Whose attack just keeps stacking and stacking, and now that the Doken events are even longer, then it's just even easier to get, to get his attack to even greater heights. And it's the same with Kaioken Goku, his attack also raises with each um, super attack. So this is definitely a very good team overall. However, if you wanted to go with a different approach, and didn't necessarily want to go with just complete full out power as you can see in here because despite Gotenks being a sealer he still does a decent amount of damage with his 70% attack um, passive skill and um, Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man also does a decent amount of damage as he gets a 70% attack boost when launching a super attack. So if we now have at a look at a different, at a, at a different approach um, the only real change here is that I put in um, Super Saiyan Goku who can stun and the reason why this can import can be important is because of the lack of tanking. You, um, I didn't mention this earlier but this Piccolo does increase defense by 25% and I'm pretty sure that the Transcendent Ultra Rare goes up to 50, oh uh, 70%. So he increases defense by 70% so this obviously allows your units to tank a fair amount of damage. The only real problem 
is that he doesn't have any good key links. <laughs> he literally doesn't link at all with these with these other units, which can definitely be a bit of a liability. But this team is very well rounded overall. We do lose full power freezer. But in return, we do have a stunner, and he has a high chance of stunning. I'm pretty sure the chance of, his, of him stunning is 50%, and that can be very, very crucial, especially in the Heart of Doken events that you are struggling to beat. And um, again, you have the Sealer and Gotenks. The majority, the majority of them do share the same key links. Um, prepare for battle, he shares with Broly, Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man, Gotenks. And you obviously again have um, Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man bridging, bridging the gap between these other units, which is honestly great because that's something that it's missing. You can add a few support units in there, such as the new, well, I'll say newly awakened BK. His rebirth came out a few weeks ago. Um, you could potentially, I can't see him, see him for some reason. You could potentially add this Goku to um, add key. But I feel like that's kind of not allowing this team to f um, fulfill its full potential because the main purpose is to obviously hit hard. So when you add a unit like this and get rid of him, you just have a unit that's providing key. And I kind of feel like that's a waste because you could just easily um, get to 6 key anyway because you only need three, like an additional 3 orbs to get to that 12 key because everyone's going to be starting on 6. So... He could easily just run this team perfectly fine despite not having the best key links. The only real link here is um, Freezer, as he only shares it with, um, with the Kaioken Goku. But despite that, you'll most likely be able to get the super attack off like the large majority of the time, as these, as the majority of the units don't need that much key themselves because they already share those links. But um, I know I said that having like a support unit is kind of bad because you're you obviously have to do as much damage as possible but the thing about having a stunner in there is that it allows you to survive longer and obviously deal more damage which is something that you need and he also gets a decent attack and defense boost so that's something but yeah these are pretty much some of the best teams that you can make honestly if you are if you're lacking any of the any of these units you could probably throw this goku in there as well he has the prepared for battle link which is obviously very good you could probably replace the Go Tanks, but I wouldn't recommend it because ceiling is probably very important in the modern physical team. I personally haven't run it, so I, I can't say for sure. But the fact that this team can't beat Omega Shenron just tells you how important having these units actually is. But yeah, I don't really have anything else to say on this matter. It's pretty bland. Well, I said, yeah, this modern physical is pretty bland. You are mostly relying on the amount of damage that your units can deal. Obviously, obviously, if they are all at super attack 10, it's easier for you to be dealing a big amount of damage. But if they are, if they aren't all at super attack 10, then then this team is probably not the greatest. It's probably the least. Like these teams. Pardon me, I'm losing my words here. Modern Physical is probably the worst out of the five, just simply because of how bland it is. But you can definitely be making a decent team for it. But that is it, guys. I hope you all, but I hope you all did enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section down below which type you want me to do next, and I will do my very best to do it in the coming days. But as usual, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like for more Dragon Ball content. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.